Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the Berlanga versus, well, Canelo versus Berlanga undercard video. As with a lot of these pay-per-view cards or major cards, I like to um, discuss the undercards to let you know if the pay-per-view is worth ordering or not. Um, because, you know, normally with a pay-per-view card, because you're paying for it, um, they will load up the undercard. Well, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So to be honest with you, along with a shitty main event between Canelo and Berlanga, it's a shitty undercard. Um, go figure. Um, we'll start, I mean, on the prelim card that you could see for free, Stephen Fulton Jr. is making his uh, featherweight debut against Carlos Castro. That's a decent enough opponent for Fulton. I'm looking forward to seeing his return. He hasn't fought in what will be 14 months by the time the fight happens since he was dominated against uh, Nyoya Inoue. And he is out to make his featherweight debut. So that should be good. But that is on the free card. That's not on the pay-per-view undercard. Um, kicking off the main card is Roly Romero returning from his loss to... Um, to uh isaac cruz as he will battle um uh, manuel jaimes this is a 140 pound battle 10 rounder uh manuel jaimes only got one loss one draw but widely unknown uh romero trying to uh return from that uh devastating tko loss but i don't really think anybody's excited about this it's not a good opponent for roley he's just taking a tune-up guy on an undercard um, I, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really care about this fight. Um, next up in, uh, is the, is the Caleb Plant versus Trevor McCombie interim super middleweight title fight. It's for the WBA interim title. Caleb Plant, uh, returning after a year and a half layoff and returning from a defeat as well as he battles, uh, and that was to David Benavidez in March of last year, 2023. He's going to take on undefeated but unknown Trevor McCombie. 28-0, 21 knockouts, but has not been in the ring with anybody even close to Caleb Plant. So um, another one where, okay, Caleb Plant's coming back, facing an unknown guy. He's undefeated, but Caleb Plant should, you know, I mean, do well against them. Not a big name, so it's just kind of a return, shake off the rust type bout featuring Caleb Plant. All right, but it's on a pay-per-view. Roley, same thing. So, you know, kind of whatever. And then the co-feature, topping the undercard, sees Arizlandi Lara, the WBA middleweight champion, battling former two-division world champion Danny Garcia. Garcia hasn't fought in nearly two years. Um, and Arizlandi Lara... Uh, came back and got a second round knockout win over Michael Zarafa to solidify himself as the WBA middleweight champion after being upgraded uh, last year when Triple G decided to not fight him. Um, now, uh, you know, Lara will finally get this, this long-awaited bout for him and Garcia off. They'll fight each other, but I don't really think anybody's excited about this. I know I'm not. I, I could care less about this fight. Um, I think they're meeting at a catch weight. I didn't want to see it even before this, when this fight was being discussed last year, it was supposed to happen. Um, I didn't really care about the fight then. I think it's a, ba it's a bad matchup. I think Lara, even though he's the older fighter, he's the more natural middleweight. You got Garcia, who started at 140. Um, he's only had one fight at 154. That was against uh, Jose uh, Benavidez. Um, and he's, I think he's meeting Garcia, uh, Lara at a catch weight, and he hasn't fought in over two years, and he gets a crack at the middleweight title. It's just, I think it's ridiculous. So, um, real, realistically, three fights on the pay-per-view undercard that, to me, nothing of relevance is going to come from this unless the underdogs pull off the win. Uh, and and that's uh, this, this Jaime's guy. If he pulls out the win over Roley Romero, I mean he'll he'll move up the ladder at 140. And Trevor McCumbie, if he can if he can beat Caleb Plant, he'll make himself a player 
at 168. Um, and Danny Garcia, if he can pull off the upset and beat Arizona Lara, he becomes the middleweight champion. So it brings him back to relevance. But for the favorites, Lara beating Garcia, I don't think it's going to do much for him. Kayla Plant beating McCumbie, I mean, everybody's going to be like, so what? This guy was a nobody. You just shook off the rest. It's basically a prelude to something bigger. And Roly Romero, same thing. It's just him coming back, following a loss. And I'm just really, I don't like the undercard at all. I, I, I really don't. I think it's a trash ass main event, a trash ass undercard. And, um, and, but you know, when these pay-per-view undercards happen, I have to discuss them. So, um, that's it. That's what I got. That is the, uh, Canelo versus Berlanga pay-per-view undercard. I hope you enjoyed the video as it takes place, uh, Saturday, September 14th on Amazon and the zone, I believe, pay-per-view. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.